Congratulations, Atala College of Educational Studies graduates. I'm so excited to be celebrating with you and your families here this evening. My message to you is very simple. I'm going to be asking you to be accepting educational responsibility as you move forward. I'd like you to think about accepting that responsibility in three different ways. First of all, I'd like you to think about accepting responsibility for what? Then I'd like you to think about accepting responsibility for whom? And finally, I'd like you to think about how you will undertake that responsibility. So what for? What are you accepting educational responsibility for? That will depend on whether you have graduated as a school counsellor, perhaps as a school psychologist or a classroom teacher, maybe a community activist or a community agent, a researcher, a policy analyst, or perhaps a professor in higher education. You'll be interacting with individuals that will depend a lot on each of the different arenas that you'll do your work. But each of those individuals will bring to you a lot of strengths and talents. And that's why it's very important for you to think about who you are accepting educational responsibility for. Each of the individuals will come to you with lives that have been intersected by socially constructed markers such as race, wealth, sexuality, ability. And it will be important for you to meet each individual where they are so that your job, your responsibility of nurturing their learning, helping them to grow intellectually, socially and emotionally will take into account each of their varied identities. And how will you do that? Well, you are a group of graduates who have undergone perhaps the most remarkable experience of any group of graduates in the last hundred years. Along the way, this very challenging way, you've learned courage, resilience, strengths that you never knew you possessed. Those kinds of talents will fit you more than any group before you to be the kind of educator we need in the 21st century. Education has changed overnight. All of the new technological advancements, the ways we are thinking about remote learning, none of these existed in the ways that we are now getting familiar with them when you started your program. Just imagine what you're going to be able to do with those skills out in the world as the educators of the future. You'll be the leaders we are expecting you to be. I'm so proud of you. Please enjoy this next phase of your life and don't forget us. Come back and visit when you have time. Congratulations again. Welcome families. Bienvenidos. Huayeng. Maligayan pangdanting. Bienvenue. Thank you Chapman graduates families, friends, and Chapman faculty for allowing me to share this special occasion with you. My name is Sonia Rosiles and I'm an MIT graduate student at Chapman from the city of Santa Ana, California. Congratulations, class of 2020, we've made it. I wanna celebrate your journey and all of your accomplishments in getting here today. We all know this has not been the easiest task, but I admire your dedication, perseverance, and for pushing through until the end. This is such a huge accomplishment and I'm extremely proud of you. Moments of stillness have allowed us to reflect on what truly matters in our lives. Yes, these past few months have been filled with fears, doubts, and so much unknown, but I want you to remember why you are here today, ready to enter the world as a Chapman University graduate. Take a look at the people around you. It is with the support of them and many more that have helped you get to this place. Maybe it's your big brother that would drive you to McDonald's to get a midnight snack with you because you were feeling overwhelmed freshman year and a bit homesick. Maybe it's that one professor that helped you see something in yourself that you never knew existed. Or the generous donor that provided that scholarship that allowed you to have access to higher education. At this moment, let's thank them for building us up, for giving us that push, for being there during the highs and lows in our journey. As we move on to this next chapter in our life, let's not forget those moments of love. 
love that helped us get through our struggles and reminded us that we were enough and deserving of this moment. I hope that as you enter the world that you remember to also build those moments of love with others, whether it's your future students, clients, business partners, families, or friends. Let's build each other up, be grateful for our journey, and see the light in others so that together we can make our world a better place. Class of 2020, congratulations on all of your accomplishments and hard work. I can't wait to celebrate with you in person. Go Panthers! Ha, ha, ha.